Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore. In the last video, we made our way to Nobilia at last, and we did quite a bit of trading in the marketplace. Got a lot of stuff that I wanted to get, including all the armor that I wanted to have at this point. Some really interesting items that will boost my stats up a little bit all that sort of stuff so then we got that out of the way let's go ahead and continue this game we got the Centurion Cape City and Helm Bronze Gauntlet I won't be able to sell everything right away sadly but that's all right because we'll definitely have some jewels for later. Anyway, when we head outside, we find out that the place is empty and that city square meeting is happening. We've already gotten the jewels up there. I mentioned those in the last video. So we might as well go ahead and head straight to the town square for the meeting. There's her dog, there's Tiny, there's two shifty-eyed guards, and there's Pompolonius standing at the secret dog statue to say what he has to say. Apparently these people think that our dog is the sacred dog, and because of the sacred dog's appearance, the place known as there will be a battle in the Colosseum. I just had to do that strange pause just now because you just now noticed that accidental capitalization. Thanks, game. Our champion will fight a challenger to be chosen by the sacred dog. This won't end well now, will it? Yep. No, 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 no. This is why I hate people! Anyway, we reunite with our dog, but nobody cares that this is our dog, and everybody believes this is a sacred dog, and anything that we say will not be taken seriously because they all believe that this is a sacred dog. So therefore, we are going to be taken to the Colosseum, and we have to fight in a gladiator battle, whether we want to or not. Well... Of course you wait outside, you're the one who brought me here. And we find out we're fighting some guy named Vigor. That doesn't sound very good either. Anyway, Pompolonius shows up. And even when we tell him the truth, guess what? He doesn't care! So now we have the way for this door to open again before we can go out there and fight a boss battle because this is obviously what's going to be. And also ask if you want to record your progress. You can if you want. I'm not going to. And while the dog is here, I don't think you can switch to him. Maybe you can. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to fight some Roman gladiator with ancient weapons. Oh, you can switch to the dog. Anyway, as soon as the door opens, you can leave whenever you want. I might as well go ahead and mention the stuff that's here. Now here you will find armor. If you don't have any armor from this world, you will get the bronze armor. If you don't have the stone vest, you will have the stone vest. If you don't have the centurion cape, you will get the centurion cape. But if you have all three, Thug's Cloak. You can actually get it this early in the game. Did not learn this on my own, I actually learned this from watching H.C. Bailey play through the game. 
He does some really good JRPGs, and well, RPGs in general, really. That's the only genre he plays, but he plays them rather well, and he's definitely a really, really good source for basically all the information you can get in the game. And anyway, the Thug's Cloak increases the ab wearer's ability to evade attacks, so another evade-up item. Another go up to 41%. Yes, I do have everything equipped. Good. And in here, well, if you had if it didn't have any petals, you could get some there. I guess I might as well go ahead and use one on myself and then take the one that's here because this is gonna probably going to be the last time we get a petal. Except for maybe that time in the... That one, the one jar we couldn't open in the first station, maybe. But, yeah, from here on out, we're, we're not going to be getting petals and for basically ever anymore. And if you go through here, then up, right, hidden passage, some wax in these, a call bead, two call beads, the gloves of Ra, and the Centurion helmet. Top one is the gloves jar. In case you don't have any of the gloves, you'll get the, get the uh, serpent brazier. Otherwise, you'll get the bronze gauntlet. And if you have both the brazier and the gauntlet, you'll get the gloves of raw. And for the bottom one, which is the helmet, if you have don't have the bronze helmet or any of the armor from this world, you get the bronze helmet. If you do have the bronze helmet, you get the obsidian helm. If you have the obsidian helm and the bronze helmet, you get the, the centurion helm. So. If you did what I did, you get all the armor, the, like the best armor in this world, for absolutely free. Though you have to do some trading to get there. And you also get the Thug's Cloak earlier than usual. It is possible to get the Thug's Cloak later in the game. But if you're smart and you know what to do, you can get in here where the armor's supposed to be. And the door is open, there's nothing else that we can do. Do I have my spear equipped? I better have my spear equipped. Yes, I do. Alright. We're going in. And we're going to have ourselves quite a bit of a, of a boss battle here. It's going to be the boy and the boy alone. The dog will not be in this battle. The dog's going to be waiting for us. And now we're in the Colosseum. If you pay close attention, you'll see characters from Final Fantasy VI in the audience. As a matter of fact, there they are now in the upper right hand corner. There's Locke, there's Mog, there's Terra, there's Strago, there's Celeste. Don't know who the person... Maybe that's the Yeti? I forgot what the name of the Yeti is. Umago or so Umago or something. I forget. It's been a while since I played Final Fantasy VI. But anyway, we are introduced to our boss. This guy in a chariot named Vigor the Indestructible. And then we're introduced to some loser with a stick. Vigor runs around his little push around chariot. And that chariot protects them very well. He does, however, have a weak point. And as soon as the battle begins, you want to move all the way to the south there. And believe it or not, you want to get behind him and hit him with a spear with a level 3 shot. There are some attacks that he can do, that's one of them, where he flexes towards the crowd and gets them to throw vegetables at you, you want to be on the move when he flexes like that, and then get get to the right of him or the left of him, depending on where it is that he's coming from. He can also come at you very fast, and he can also attack you with a javelin and a boomerang. There's a boomerang, pretty easy to avoid as long as you know where it's going to go. Javelin's a little tougher to avoid. 
Also, if you somehow manage to get him to face the north edge of the screen, you'll find out that he's completely defenseless in the back. Like, you can actually see his feet moving. You also can't run into the, the side or the front of him. Otherwise, you will take damage. And I wouldn't recommend... Ow. Throwing... Using magic on him. Kinda. Because he's got some pretty high magic defense, I think. Yeah, his magic defense is pretty high and it doesn't knock him back. Okay, get out of there. We need to buff up because I have buffed things for a reason. Apparently, when he lined up to hit you with the javelin, he'll do it. And if you're like to the side of him, it's going to be very difficult to avoid. Gotta cast defend, gotta cast speed. Staying away from him. And I'm also going to cast Atlas too. I want to see if I can level it up. That would be nice. When you cast Atlas, you glow red. And when you glow red, you'll be able to attack with some more strength. But you need to level up at Atlas a little bit in order to get the uh, full effect of the spell. But regardless, we did it. Managed to beat Vigor and get a thousand jewels. And now, we are free to do what we need to do. As a reward for beating Vigor, we get the Gladiator Sword, which is the first of three weapons that we can get in this new world. And we get to learn about where it is that we are, how to get home, where the answers may lie on the west side of the river. That's pretty much where the treasures are. And the treasures are the diamond eyes of the sacred dog statue. Apparently there are eyes that you can put in the statue. And with the statue's eyes, we should be able to head back home maybe, according to Pompolonius here. And now the dog finally rejoins us. Which means he's free to gain experience again. And all of her buffs have worn off, but that doesn't matter. You'll then be tasked with finding the two sacred dog diamond eyes. And then you'll have to bring them back in order to, well, get back home apparently. And with that, we are off. But not before we get a cutscene involving this leader again. Apparently, this guy is talking to a face that just pops out of the wall right here. And of course, the leader knows about us as well. And it turns out they knew about us for a while because they just mentioned the battle we had in the volcano in the Prehistoria, which was the world in the plateau. This is Antiqua. This is obviously based on ancient Rome, and I don't believe that any of the land names are ever mentioned in the game. They, they really aren't. They're mentioned in the instruction booklet and on player's guides and even on the map that came with the game. Like the little map slash poster thing that came with the game. But they're never mentioned in the game itself. You're just told the names of villages and 
certain areas and stuff. But anyway, we're now out of the Colosseum. We won't be returning there ever. We won't be able to go back in. And all that's left to do is to go to the West Bank and look for the treasures, which are the sacred diamond eyes. And for some reason, this guy likes to smell the chicken man. Why are you smelling the chicken man? He doesn't say anything different when you talk to him. Anyway. How much do we have? In terms of things. I know we don't have a whole lot. We don't. But I might as well go ahead and purchase some more rice and do what it is that I need to do which I'm gonna show off rather quickly believe it or not we can get an annihilation amulet of annihilation early we just go up to this guy and for 30 rice you can get one amulet now if you say no you can continue to haggle him down until he gives you three amulets for one rice but if you take the three amulets for one rice, he won't sell to you ever again. So you have to be very careful. And I don't know why he's smelling goats and chickens because there are no alchemy ingredients around here to be found. But I will be returning here later not only to do a video on everything that's here, but also buy other stuff for later on. For now, I'm just going to go take this back because I have an amulet. Because we have an amulet, we can get on the boat and we can go across the entire desert without taking damage. There is something else that I want to do here when I get to the other side. By the way, when you take one route, either the route from the city to Crustacea or from Crustacea to the city for the first time, either one of those two routes, you get a guided tour of things in the desert. You basically get told of the places, places you're going to go and you even get told about a rock formation that looks like a mummified cat. Also you cannot cut these bushes no matter how hard you try. Which really reminds me of Crustacea now that I think about it. Also, if I were to hit these things... There we go. Oh, the dog got it. Well, I might as well go ahead and re bring the... Dog back to level 1. And from here... We want to do the thing to get... To get... Sting again. Reason I'm doing this is there something special that we can do but first get out of here get rid of that bone buzzard there also the dog is always going to be more powerful than we are no matter what which makes sense because he only has the one attack I am going to attack some more enemies here while I'm here. There we go. Will that thing come back? Hope so. Well, the dog saw him first. And there won't be any alchemy ingredients to find anywhere around here in the desert at all, so you don't have to worry about that. There's a thing that we need to do around here. And we have to go north in order to get it. Also, I'm surprised we're at 20 minutes on this video already. I thought I was, thought I was at somewhere before that. Huh. And it's been a while since I fought with the dog, so I'm going to have to...
have the dog sniff whenever I have to fight an enemy. Anyway, we reached this guy again. And this time we need to switch to the dog and talk to him. We can press select to switch to the dog, talk to this guy. And you'll get the spiky collar absolutely free. And that's a lot better than five extra defense. So we now have over a hundred defense for the dog, which is really nice. Very, very good to have. And now that we are done there, I'm going to use the sword to attack the bugs and probably cast crush on these tumbleweeds because once, once again once you get to level one those things are easy picking for crush now if I hear the sound of an item drop which is not an explosion obviously I'm gonna go back to get it because I would probably want that in case it's some extra extra jewels or something like that definitely wanna level up crush as much as we can because limestone is going to be pretty easy to get to, especially when we know where we can buy it. You can always buy it at Blimp's Cave. And we are finally out of the desert. Now, remember that we got Tiny to throw that rock? Well, when we return over here, the rock lands here and we get a nice little bridge leading over here. So now, we can get not only a call bead and 200 jewels, and there's confounded which has you flashing all sorts of certain colors and makes left, right, and right, left, and up, down, and down, up. But by going over here, we get some brimstone and ethanol. I'm actually not going to uh, cure confound on the dog. It will ro will uh, wear off on its own, but it doesn't actually bother the computer-controlled enemy, computer-controlled AI at all. I almost said computer, actually said computer-controlled enemy there for a second. I don't know why I did that. Oh shoot! I forgot there was wax right there near that tree, and I didn't get it. Well, there's some wax there. Now you know where it is. And now that we have some stronger armor and a stronger weapon that's also faster the rogues shouldn't be able to give us a lot of trouble you go get it uh, 167 that's a lot of HP that, that moxa stick really came in handy right there also, yeah, the dog is still going to have more attack and defense than we do. And the dog is no longer in that lower left corner there. I thought maybe the dog would glitch out for like a fraction of a second or something if I went back there now, but no. That reminds me. I'm going to confirm if there are any alchemy ingredients in here before I go anywhere around here. I doubt that there will be. Just circle around here. Nah, we're not going to find any. And I'm still missing at times. But we got the dog to level 14 finally. And I'm going to level this up and get some nectar. Sometimes the... Uh, the Mad Monks will drop wings. Those things will let you escape a dungeon, and I'll mention those again in case we ever see them. Now, 
going through here with the dog is kind of interesting because the dog cannot go up these stairs and apparently they did not expect the period at the end of the first sentence to act like that in case the name of the dog was too long I'm guessing they expected you to give the dog a short name but there's an in here and in case you want to heal the dog well how are you gonna do that well the answer is pretty simple you take this little elevator here and when you come down the dog comes back and you can take the dog up there to the end nice to see that the developers actually thought of that and now that we are here do I really feel like healing myself probably not but Oh shoot, before I do that, I want to sell my, uh, I want to sell my armor. Yeah, I want to do that before I go anywhere else, before I do anything else and stop the video. Sell the items. Okay, we sell the, sell this, this. This, 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 and this. They're not worth much, but we got them for free, so that's basically a lot of money that we have in our hands now. And we have one of everything. We still have the uh, sorry, the uh, spiky collar and the dog because we can't sell anything if it's equipped, in case you don't remember. And now we can finally go to the end with our over 3,000 jewels. And I'm going to go ahead and save the game. I'm going to forego healing and call it a video on this one. Join me next time where I go to the West Bank and look for the sacred dog's diamond eyes. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!